Dave, 2-2 two, two at Kings Lane. How do you see that? Do you see that as a point gained or two points lost? Um, I think any I think any point you you, you sort of get is is always going to be a, a point gained. Um, could we have won the game? Yeah. Um, did we make the game different for ourselves in terms of the goals we conceded? Yes. But we've probably done more than more than enough to to grab the three points. But um, listen, I'm, we're, we're sort of we're raising the bar a little bit and we're coming more and more, I suppose, disappointed when we don't win games and, and that can only be a like I say, can only be a good sign. Um but to not lose again um is has to be taken as a as a positive. Um and if we can go unbeaten between now and the end of the season I'll, I'll be taking it. So um as critical as I can be and, and we'll reflect and probably have a, a tinge of disappointment as a tinge of disappointment within the players. Um we've got to we've got to say it's another point on the board and move on. Did, did most of that disappointment come from obviously especially especially the first half? It it almost looked a little bit unrecognisable, and the lads almost looked a little bit lost in that in in, in that period. Is that something that you spoke about with half time? No, I think I think we started I think we started the game really really well, and probably for the first fifteen minutes the game was maybe a little bit too easy for us. And when we spoke before the game around us probably having everything to play for and without being disrespectful because again there's probably not the threat of relegation but I think it's a team that had pride to play for and, and very little else and if you start and, and do things right then potentially you can not make the game easy for yourself but you can test them we started the first 15 minutes really really well um, but unfortunately we give them a really really poor goal from our um, lids being the wrong side and um, and not dealing with the ball and Ben being in a really poor position and then that gives a team that are technically good players it gives them a lift they have something to go and play for um, we always knew with the, with the with with the shape that they would potentially play um, we wanted to try and not change what we did too much but it was quite, like I say it was quite evident in the, in the first half that if you go in front you can you can maybe sit within your shape and allow the the, the, the back of their diamond to have the, have the ball and, and sort of sit in a little bit when neither the game's level or you're behind and we want to press then you have to or the shape that we had wasn't really um effective to do that so then you got to choose whether see you, we try to morph into I suppose a back four a little bit and end up with Jake Cooper at right back and Jamie Hyde up on the right and then obviously at half time make a make a change and, and go to a 4-3-3 which um, was better suited to press against them and, and try and pinch the pinch the ball high up um, but I didn't want to sort of go into the game and sort of well again a little bit not knowing what shape you play because they mix things around but also we wanted to go and play our game and um, when you when you can see poor goals sometimes it doesn't allow you to do that you talk about that change at half time Reese Oates came on and really changed the game obviously he got his goal was that was that a tough decision for you uh, maybe not not start him and, and looking at our shape to play the two defensive midfielders of, of Featherston and White and, uh, and and just change that around a little bit of course, you've got to try and preempt how how games will go and how teams will line up. And um, again, the, what we didn't want to do was almost concede ground where they come here and come here and win, be on the be on the front foot. Um, if they were playing a diamond, the easiest thing for us to do would be to match it up. But we wanted to cause that cause them problems. Um, again, I suppose when, when teams line up and you see a way home, what you don't want to do is, and again, especially when the game was going as it was in the first 15, 20 minutes, is is almost make a, a substitution to change the shape. Can you do it within the within the players you've got on the pitch? So we we tried to well, we brought Moles out to obviously to this side and got some got some joy against the. Um, um, the number 15 and, and put Jamie higher up on the right hand side and moved, moved Jake across um, and that so again worked alright got, got us back in the game we, Luke obviously scores his goal and if you get to half time you then can potentially maybe even then make a sub and, and recognise that that's the way we have to go and put personnel on that can, that can affect it but again we can see the poor goal just for half time and it gives you gives you the mountain to climb and um, I suppose if you did have any doubts about making making the change then mine was made up for us that unbeaten run continues but it's a, it's another point of the road a, a game that obviously towards the end really looked like we were going to go grab that winner how do you overall assess our form away from home um, as I said still unbeaten but a lot, a lot of draws 
yeah, but again, that, over the course of the season, if you you win at home and, and you draw away, it's a, it's a it's it's a good formula. I think. Listen, I think if um, if we'd have not lost as many games away from home um, as we did doing that little little run we had, then you'd be, you'd be standing there going, it's another another point on the road, and it's a like I say, it's a long way to come on a Tuesday night, and it would be a good point. And if we can back that up on Saturday with a with a win, then it becomes a it becomes a decent point. Um, you can't like I say, you can't win any every game. Unfortunately, I think if I'm being critical there's, there's some great balls going in there towards the end and, and it's the fine margin in the in the penalty area especially at the attacking end and we need to you know, I'm pointing the finger we need to take more responsibility and more people need to um, sort of step up and, and, and get their head on things and put the ball in the put the ball in the net because like I say at the end there was there was chances there maybe you look at it and go we're a little bit unlucky things didn't drop for us but can we do that a little bit more than, like say you judged in both penalty areas and at the minute that's probably cost us getting three points and having to one. Just finally, we're back at the Vic on Saturday. Um, Sutton winning again tonight. Is it is always? Do you do you still kind of just focus on we on what we're doing, or do you do you still kind of look at the league? And what's your opinion on obviously Sutton now six points ahead of us and with their games in hand? Do you, do you still see a battle for the top place, or, or is it just it's focus no, on what we? Yeah, it makes it makes no difference in terms of where where we are. You, first and foremost, and without sounding boring, you get to oh different this year, but. You get to 50 points as quickly as possible we've got to 50 points um, we want to make sure we get in the playoffs um, if we can't finish top then finish second if you can't finish second finish third if you can't finish third make sure you finish four, five, six, or 7 and give yourselves a, give yourselves a shot it is a bit of a a bit of a lottery um, at the back end of the season but like I say from, from experience the brilliant games to be involved in and um, we're well equipped I think to, um, to, to, to have a go Um but there's still a long way to go. What we've got to do is is worry about us, not worry about anyone else. Do do what do what's required. Get as many points on the board as as, as we can, and, and see where see where that takes us. Um, but like I say, give ourselves a chance at the back end of the season to to enjoy some um, some games of football that are high intensity, high pressure, um, with lots riding on them. Dave, thanks very much.